I am most proud of the strong relationships that we have built with frontline road safety agencies and professionals and the ways that we have been able to engage them in the research process. Good research doesn't happen in a vacuum. The development of programs and policies and evaluations has to take account of the realities and the context in which frontline professionals work. Listening to and learning from the experiences of those who work on the front line of road safety every day has made me a better researcher. More importantly, it has helped our organization make our research relevant and meaningful to the audiences who can benefit most from it. We are at an important stage in which knowledge, innovation, and the desire to collaborate are at an all-time high in the field. Impaired driving has always been a cross-disciplinary issue, touching the fields of transportation, justice, safety, health, education, and technology. But this has often contributed to a fragmented approach to the issue. We are now at a critical point um, when these very distinct disciplines are beginning to collaborate, to share knowledge, to exchange ideas, and to really draw upon advances in other fields. This growing integration is what will take us to the next level to help deliver the declines in fatalities and injuries that road safety professionals are seeking. First, I would put more of the available research into practice. It can be very challenging to implement research findings because it often requires changes in policies and programs that are contained within broader systems. Uh, similarly, similarly, there is a whole learning curve that goes with these changes and the need to work with practitioners to translate research findings into specific operational practices. So if we could somehow speed up this process, it would be wonderful and we could reap the benefits found in the research much more quickly. Second thing I would do is increase public knowledge of road safety and more importantly the risks associated with certain driving behaviors. Oftentimes the risks can be difficult to convey in a meaningful way because so much of the public drives frequently and every day and they don't usually experience negative consequences or they experience negative consequences infrequently relative to the amount of driving they do. But the reality is it only takes one time to have a crash.